Le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Nous reprenons l'audience. Je demande au greffier de rendre compte de la liste des parties présentes ce matin. La greffière. Thank you, Mr. Monsieur le Président, the parties to the proceedings today are all present. toutes les parties sont présentes. Witness KW 29 is also present, awaiting the call of the chamber. This witness has no relationship with the parties to the proceeding or the accused, and she has already taken an oath. Ni avec Entre les parties au débat, une... ni avec l'accusé, elle a déjà prêté serment. The president, uh, the court official is now instructed to call je witness Bouton. de bien vouloir introduire dans le prétoire le témoin, Madame Bouton. Ça, ça le président. Le président. Is your name Bouton? Ça. Vous, vous vous non est-il yes, Bouton? Vous appelez vous Madame Bouton? Réponse oui. The president. Uh, do le you président. use other names other than Ton? Avez-vous d'autres noms usuels que celui de Ton? Réponse. No, I don't. Réponse. Non. Question. Question. How old are you? Quel âge avez-vous? The interpreter cannot hear her because she speaks rather fast before the mic is uh, on. La réponse de la témoin, celle-ci a répondu trop rapidement. The president, uh, Donc, le what micro is ne your puisse s'allumer. Le président, quelle est votre profession? The president, uh, Le président, Mrs. Bouton, Madame Bouton, could you please be informed that uh, before you respond to any questions, please wait question, until you see the red light on the mic. que la lumière rouge soit allumée. Otherwise, your message micro. will not be well recorded Sinon, and translated. Intervention ne sera Do you understand pas, this? Um, enregistré et uh, on ne pourra traduire vos propos. Question: How old are you? Question: Quel âge avez-vous? Réponse: I'm 64 years old. J'ai 64 ans. Question. Question. What do you do for a living today? Quelle est votre profession? Response. I Réponse. don't work actually. My Je pas de siblings feeds me. 
The president, according to the report of the Greshes of the trial chamber, you have no relationship with any parties to the proceedings today and that you have taken an oath already. Is it correct? Response, yes, it is. The President. The Chamber would like to remind you of your rights and obligations as the witness. As a witness, you may elect not to answer any questions that you are afraid that your testimony could sell incriminate you, and you are to only tell the court the truth, nothing but the truth. La vérité, toute la vérité, rien que la vérité. Can you tell the court? Pouvez-vous? The Events before 1975. Where did you live and what did you do? Où viviez-vous et que faisiez-vous? Response: I would like to tell the court about the events before 1975. I got married in Slang. Tropeang Wang, Kandal Steng District, Kandal. At that time, Wang, I left uh, my home to live in Phnom Penh. And uh, until the date uh, when the Khmer Rouge took control of Phnom Penh, my friend, the friend of my father got a car and took us back to our hometown. When we reached the intersection, intersection at the Lok Sang Hospital, we were directed to go to another road to New Phnom Penh location and passed uh, the gas station. We lived at that location for about 10 days, then Anka took us back to Phnom Penh. And uh, they introduced us to the revolution, the person who introduced us was Koi Thun, the chief of the North Zone. And uh, a few months later, my husband was assigned to work at the Ministry of Energy. And uh, after a while, until 1977, I don't remember the month, 1977, my husband was taken, uh, I'm sorry, I have to go back a little bit, actually we got uh, a child and I gave birth to the child at the Go Mui Hospital and after the delivery, of the child, uh, my husband uh, asked, uh, uh, told me that his uh, biographies had been rigorously taken, and later on he disappeared, and I was discharged uh, from the hospital, and then we went to Bobil Kai, which was my hometown. Uh, three, uh, three months later, I was told that my husband was uh, transporting gasoline and that I had to pack my luggage so that uh, I too can be reunited with my husband. Then we were transported to Anlong Gong. At uh, Anlong Gong, uh, because I just delivered the baby, I was only offered light uh, work uh, to push the water cart. 
pas de, de and then when I left the ministry um, of energy une and charrue, in the late afternoon I après, had problem um, breastfeeding my kid because I did not have the milk uh, to feed uh, un problème him and then uh, our uh, colleagues uh, helped me le, le provide the Et traditional herbs uh, uh, and then I could uh, de, have my milk again to feed, une, uh, to breastfeed uh, the child. And I later on was asked to work at different locations and then back to Anlongkorn. It depends on the assignment, so I had to obey the, the orders. Uh, and uh, after suivre quite les, some time, les on the day when the Vietnamese uh, took control of Phnom Penh, then I fled with other people. Sont arrivés à Phnom Penh. J'ai pris, uh, j'ai pris la fuite avec d'autres personnes. At I had uh, suffered a great deal because I was beaten, I was mistreated, because I could not really fulfill the task as demanded, parce que je and uh, I had uh, suffered a great deal. It was a life and death situation, uh, and after all, it was I alone who survived. My daughters uh, moi je and seul, all died, um, and I am alone after all. Me suis retrouvé seul après ces événements. The president, according to Le the story you have told Selon the court, ce que vous avez dit, it is inferred that uh, you chambre, were the new people du and your husband was uh, the new Et people also, is that correct? Tel était le cas également pour votre mari. Response. Yes, uh, we were oui. the 17th of nous April people. Étions, nous faisons partie du peuple du 17 avril. The president, before 1975, what kind of occupation did uh, your husband votre have? Quelle était la profession ou l'activité de votre mari? He was a motorcycle tout tailor driver lui en fait il était il avait une moto et une remorque était attachée à cette moto telle était son activité professionnelle question you said during the time of the evacuation when the whole population of Cap uh, Phnom Penh was being evacuated you au moment de l'évacuation du peuple des habitants de Phnom Penh Vous avez turned your direction by the Khmer Rouge vous avez dit que les soldiers Khmer Rouge vous ont, uh, uh, during the uh, journey from Phnom Penh to National Road Number 4 and that uh, your direction was changed to Phnom Penh Thmai mm, at uh, uh, to the direction of Kilo number six at one of the gas station. Is uh, that correct? Ça, uh, Response. Yes, chose it qui is. Yes, passé au kilomètre six à côté d'une station service um, entre Phnom Penh et Penh Question. Tmei. You indicated that uh, your husband Question had a uh, close relation oui, with Koi Tuan. Is that votre correct? Mari était en contact avec Koitun. Est-ce exact? Réponse. Response. No, he was non. not uh, the relative of Koitun, but Koitun was Koy the one who introduced him to the revolution. He was the person who just révolution. introduced uh, my husband uh, because we were in Phnom Penh, and at that time we were advised uh, to join the revolution, and the person who uh, helped uh, this was the chief of the North Zone who was 
Koitun, um, and he was not our relative. The president of Seoul, at that time, Koi Tun, he was not our relative. Response. I didn't remember who he was. Probably he was Koi Thun, alias Kun. alias Kun. I don't know whether uh, it was Koi Thun in particular si because I never Koi knew Thun him in, in 1975. The president. Le president. The person named Koi Kuhn, la personne dénommée Koi Kuhn, uh, what was his role? Dit, quel était son rôle Response, uh, réponse, I was told that he was the chief of the North uh, Zone. Le chef de la zone nord. The president, uh, so according to the best le of your recollection, was he donc, the chief of North Zone? Était-il le chef de la zone nord Response, it's correct. Réponse, c'est exact. Question. Regarding the introduction Question. of the 17th of April people into the revolution Concernant after 1975, en partie du peuple du 17 avril après cette euh, date you, en 1975, votre uh, mari était affecté à une tâche work? particulier et où euh, travaillez-vous My husband uh, uh, got a track a new truck from Air Camboge to uh, carry the war booties. Air Cambodge. And there were some other drivers Et also. And uh, at that time, he was not really a driver because he uh, got used to uh, driving a motorcycle. Camion, but at that time, since he went along with other people, then he was able to also drive the car, the truck. The president uh, was he dispatched into a unit a été à une unité. and at that time so Et far as we remember normally uh, the money was no longer in use and that people would be put into uh, a unique unit of the Khmer Rouge and you said that your husband worked in a unit uh, in the supervision of uh, the Ministry of Energy and we only want to hear more information in relation to your husband's uh, work and also how we can build or establish the fact in relation to the event uh, in which you said uh, you went to work in An Long Kong and that you lost your husband. Uh, so the chamber is interested uh, to hear the preliminary information in relation to your husband's uh, introduction to the revolution and how he disappeared. Uh, so please, can you clearly clarify for us in which particular unit uh, did he work uh, when he was introduced into the revolution? À laquelle il a été intégré au moment où il a rejoint les rangs de la révolution. À that time, when we reached the gas station au moment où in Popiel Kai, I worked as a cook, service. and uh, we worked at the Bureau Sostein. Et then, after one month, my husband was assigned tard, to drive the fuel uh, tank, fuel tanker. La, um, the president, so he was a driver de of a truck. Question: Is that votre correct? Mari était donc chauffeur de camion. 
Es exacto. So your husband was assigned to drive a fuel tanker. Is that correct? Des citernes, des, des, des camions transportant yes, des is. citernes de carburant. C'est exact. Réponse oui, c'est exact. From Question. which location did he take the fuel uh, by the truck he drove? Quel était and to le which location? Il Response. The fuel was transported uh, from Kampong Saum to Rusaikao and sometimes from Phnom Penh to Phnom Penh Batambang, Batambang to Kampot and to Kampong Cham. Question, you said Question. when you were pregnant and expecting a baby, of course, and uh, delivered uh, the baby at uh, the central hospital, and when you were being discharged from the hospital only to learn that your husband disappeared. De l'hôpital que vous avez appris que votre Do you mari remember when exactly vous vous your husband disappeared? À exactement à quel moment votre mari a disparu? Response: No, I don't. Réponse: Non. Question: Question. At that time, what kind of task? Was you were you assigned and in which unit uh, you belong to? À quelle tâche et à quelle unité Response. When we Réponse. were in the when our family were together, I worked Lorsque at the kitchen cooking réunie, meals for people. The president, je, people, who were they? Were they the drivers, des, des gens, like your husband, or uh, who else? C'était des chauffeurs comme votre mari Response. ou euh, d'autres personnes uh, réponses. Je préparais les repas pour le personnel ministry. du ministère de l'énergie. President, uh, where did uh, your family stay où logez votre famille during that time? A pendant cette période you resided in? Réponse. We stayed at Réponse. the gas station, Nous the Popil Kai gas station. Now, is the, now it is the Alors military actuelle, gas station on National Road number 5. It is on the route National 5 and it is a station service used by military Question. You said you Question. had three children. Vous and that the last child was delivered at the central hospital. Central. What happened uh, to the other two children of yours? And were they boys or girls? And were they living with you? Avec vous? Response. Réponse. I had uh, four children. Je all together. Eu au total uh, when, uh, at that time, uh, three of our children were segregated. Only the last child uh, the was uh, living with me. Avec moi. President, uh, Question. can you please tell the court uh, how many boys and girls uh, did you have and how old uh, were they? At that time, et quel âge avait-il? And that your children were segregated to different places. So where were they? Où se trouvaient vos enfants? Puisque vous avez expliqué qu'ils avaient été emmenés, vous étiez séparés d'eux. The eldest daughter was about nine years old when she was segregated. The other one was six years old. L'autre avait six ans. They were not separated to work, but they were just taken away from us to a mobile child unit and living 
only the last child with me. Mobile d'enfants et seuls enfants plus jeunes. What about the other child? You said that you had four children. Now you already told the court the two children, one being nine years old and the other one six years old. What about the other one? How old was he or she? L'autre quel âge avait-il ou avait-elle? The the last child was about two months old. It was a son. The president, next question. How many children did you have altogether? Four or three? Including the last child you gave birth to him at the central hospital. Response. I have four children. Three daughters, one son. Three filles, un fils. Question. You already Question. talked about two daughters, the eldest one and the de vos deux filles, la fille second aînée. eldest one. So what about Et the other daughter? How old was she? Plus jeune. Fille avait quel âge? She was about four Elle years old, aux de quatre ans. Elle avait quatre says ans the witness. So after three Dieu years, I... Deliver two children. Trois ans, j'ai donné naissance à deux enfants. Question. Question. When your daughters were segregated and placed in another child mobile unit, did you ever meet them after that? Les avez-vous revus? Response. I met them on the. Réponse, je les ai tenths, or the tenth day of the month, or maybe during the Khmer New Year, then I was allowed to meet them. On m'a autorisé à les revoir. Question. Question. Can you please now tell the court about your life story after your husband was arrested or we can say after your husband disappeared, you were asked to pack up your luggage to go along with them and that you reached An Long Kong. Where is An Long Kong exactly? Exactement. Now, you, I think you already know Presa Prison. Mm, so, can you please tell the court to which direction is uh, the Anlong Gong as opposed to Presa or Presa Prison? La prison de Presa. Yeah. Response. Réponse. Anlong Gong was to the south of the current prison. prison. Even now, it is still called an Long Kong village. Kong it is a big place where the prisoners were detained there. It's like a depository location before the prisoners were dispensed to other locations. And prisoners were also detained at the Risaisang Pagoda, all male prisoners. Also at the Maka village or K13, that was another location. And Anlongko was also known as K14. They had various codes for those locations. Question. Anlongkong, how far was it to the south of the current Prinsor prison? Response from the current Prinsor prison, it was pretty far. Once you reach the Risaisang Pagoda, you turn to the south and it would need another four to five kilometers before you reach that location. Question, 
in total was it about 10 kilometers from the current Pressor prison? Response, I think it was less than 10 kilometers. Je crois que ça fait moins de 10 kilometers. Question, how many kilometers then? Combien de kilometers alors? Response, uh, it was about uh, 7 kilometers. Je dirais 7 kilometers. Question. Did you know the Question. chief of the K-14 unit? What was the name of the K-14 unit? Quel était son nom? Response, I cannot recall Réponse, the name of the chief of the K-14 unit now. Question, at that time, Question. Did you know who was the top person at that location? Qui étaient les responsables de cet endroit? That is at the K-14 unit. Je parle ici de K-14. Response. Réponse. I cannot recall it. I non, totally forget. J'ai complètement oublié. However, there was a big main office at that location, and a lot of people were there. Beaucoup de gens qui y travaillaient. It was like a depository or transferring location where people were deposited there first before they were divided into and sent to various other units or locations. Question at that Question. location, what were you assigned to do? K14, que vous avez faire? As you said, initially you were asked to push water départ, to supplies to the kitchen, and later on you had problem with cuisine. the meals with your breastfeeding, and subsequently. What types of work Après cela, was assigned vous a donné to you? Tâche? Response. I was asked to Réponse. cut the firewood or to catch fish or sometimes to go uh, and pick the vegetables. Fait, um, It's up to them. Ramasser les légumes, ça dépendait. Question. Question. What about the food ration? How many meals per day? And what did you get per meal? Response. The food ration was Réponse. gruel at the time. Gruel with de la a type of soup, whatever it was. And the gruel was very thin. Une espèce de soupe. Question: Et, uh, How many meals per liquide. day? Question: Combien de repas avez-vous par jour? Two Réponse. times per day. Deux repas par in jour. the morning, we were given rice, and in the riz. evening, we Et were given only gruel. Soir, on nous donnait que de la bouillie. Question. Question. What about the place where you stayed and slept? How was it? Et où est-ce que vous étiez logé? Response. We Réponse. slept in a communal shelter. Nous passions la nuit like dans 10 to 20 female in each shelter. Des abris communautaires, nous étions 10 ou 20 femmes. Did they take any measure regarding the location where you stay? For example, was, was there a regular guard par exemple, que that uh, watch over you and your group? Surveillé par un garde? Or were you placed in a shelter with uh, enclosed walls and you were locked from the outside? Un abri avec des murs? Et est-ce que vous étiez enfermé pour la nuit? Response. At the location where I slept, there was one big shelter, and we all slept in that shelter, and there was no guard. Question. 
question. Question. You just said your infant, your male infant, died. The one who delivered, who was delivered at a central mort, hospital. Hein. When did he die? À l'hôpital central. Quand est-il mort? Response: He died Réponse. after the Vietnamese entered when I fled to Battambang. Quand je me suis enfui à Battambang. Question. Question. The regarding your surviving children. When you finish your work, who looked after your young infant? Quand, uh, qui s'occupait de vos enfants lorsque vous travaillez? Response. Réponse. The young infant stayed with the caretaker at that office. Les plus jeunes étaient confiés à la garde de quelqu'un. Question. You went to work for the whole day. How was Question. your infant fed? Or oh, the breastfeeding? How was it done? Response: In the morning, I went to work. At 11, I came for lunch, and then I breastfed him. Question. Besides your the situation that you personally experienced as you told the chamber. Did you observe ah, any other situations, que que vous avez pu observer, for instance, that people who were par exemple, instructed to live there in the group or in the nearby units? What situations did you observe regarding those people? Est-ce que vous avez pu observer d'autres situations Response. concernant d'autres gens? What I saw was Réponse. while I was at Stung Chiro, oui, at night Stung time, Chiro. they had a small flashlight to shine on us and count the numbers of us. For instance, at night they shined a flashlight on us and they took one or two people away. And in the morning when we lined up, we noticed one or two people were missing, but we were silent and dared not to say anything about that. We just tried to survive by ourselves. And sometimes a truckload of people were sent to that location and next day they all disappeared. And sometimes young children in two or three truckloads were delivered and they had dinner and later on around nine or ten they were taken back. That's what my that's what was my observation. Question Question You knew that people did you know where those people were taken from and when they were taken out? Do you know the location where they were taken to? Response, no, I réponse. do not know. I non, did pas. not dare ask anybody. Je pas poser de I questions. did not say anything about that to anybody. I sealed my lips. I only did what I was assigned. For example, if I was ordered to cook rice for the children, I just did that. Question. Let me now return to the fact that your husband disappeared. Je reviens à la question de la disparition de votre mari. Did you know the reason for the disappearance of your husband? Response, I do not know any, the reason for non, his disappearance. Only later on, I learned that because the person who inducted my husband into the party, into the revolution, was a traitor, and that's why, as part of the network, then he was arrested, and my husband's photo was at Toulouse de Question: You said that your, hus Question. your husband's photo was at Toulouse. What was the name of your husband? Quel était le nom de votre mari? Respond: Pook Horn. Pook Horn.
That's my husband's name. C'est le nom de mon mari. Question. Question. Poke horn. Is that what you said? Poke horn. C'est bien ce que vous dites. Response. Yes. Response, oui. Question. Question. Are you literate? Est-ce que vous savez lire? Response. No. Réponse. Non. Question. Question. When you saw the photo of Lors your husband que at Tulslang, vous avez la photo de votre mari à Tulslang. Did you know when he was arrested and sent to Tulslang, and when was he executed? Avez-vous pu savoir la date de son arrestation, de son envoi à Tulslang, ainsi que la date de son exécution? Response. I do not know that. Non, je ne I do not know anything pas, about my husband's arrest and death. Concernant l'arrestation et la mort de mon mari. Question. Your husband's poke horn, and as you said, Votre his photo Pocorn, was photo found at Tulslang. À S21, à Tulslang. At that time, how old was he? Quel âge avait-il à l'époque? That is, during the time that he was arrested and disappeared. Au moment de sa disparition. Response. His age at the Réponse. time, he is one year older than me. Il a un an de plus que moi. So currently, he is supposed to be 65 years old. Donc il aurait 65 ans aujourd'hui. In short, regardless of my husband or not, Whoever was sent to an Long Kong, that person would be photographed. De toute façon, uh, quiconque était envoyé à Long Kong et Question. était photographié. There were three main events Question. regarding you that the chamber Il y a trois is questioning you. One, de votre the information la related to Un. you personally at an Long Kong. Ce qui concerne vous et ce qui s'est passé à Long Kong. And the question is. Whether An Long Kong is part of S21 or not, because in the pre-saw area, after the study and the research and the examination of the case filed, the chambers has noticed that there were other units besides S21 or the S21. Besides S24 or the S21's branch S21 or the re-education center, those areas were divided into various units or sectors supervised by other people. So we are trying to determine whether you were a victim of S24 or Preso, which was a branch of the S21 office. Secondly, the chamber is trying to question you in relation to your husband, as you said, he was implicated in the force of Coitons, the North Zone Secretary, and he was inducted into the revolution by Coitun after the 17th April 1975. And that Coitun vouched for his biography. And later on, after Coitun was arrested and a research was conducted, and your husband disappeared. So we want to verify the information that you provided against the information in the case file in order to determine whether amongst the 10,000 plus victims your husband was once amongst them. And if so, what types of documents to support this and whether his name was included in the main list so we do not want to know about other people. We only want to ask you about your information and information regarding to your husband. 
Thirdly, the Chamber also is trying to question you regarding the three children. As you said, they were placed at the child care center and you only met them once every 10 days. And we try to get information regarding the loss of lives of your husband and your children. So let me again ask you about your husband. This year, your husband was supposed to be 65 years old. That is, in 75, you were not sure of the age of your husband. Is that correct? Response, yes. Response, oui, effectivement. Question. Question. Where was his birthplace? Quel est le lieu de naissance de votre mari? Response. Réponse. My husband was at Pum Tmai or Tmai village. Il est né au village de Tmai. Krang on Tai. Krang on Tai. Village. There was another name, but also still at Kondalstung. Question, he was at my village, what about the sub-district? Question, response, the same, it was my village and my sub-district. Village de Tmei, sub-district de Tmei. Question, question. Did you request a copy of the photo of your husband from Tool's Line? A obtenir une photo. Une reproduction de la photo de votre mari à tout le monde. Non, je n'ai pas demandé à voir sa photo. Question. Question. During the time of your husband's disappearance, were there any disappearances of other people at his Unit, or were there any arrests of those people in his unit? And if so, can you recall the names of those people? Response. Response. At that time, only two people were arrested. One was my husband, another one was On from Kampung Cham. On was also a driver. Cette deuxième personne était aussi chauffeur. Question. Regarding your children, you said your three children were separated and they were placed into a children's unit and only occasionally you met them. And you also said after the 7 January 1979 liberation, you fled to Batambang province, and then uh, one of your children died. And currently, only you survived and you lived with your younger sibling, but you have not mentioned in details about your three children. Can you tell us if you have received any information regarding the three children, whether they are living now and where are they living or have they all died? Response, my three children all died. Question. Question. Did you know how your children, your three children, died, and where did they die? Comment ces trois enfants sont morts? Response. No. Réponse. Non. They disappeared forever. Ils ont disparu pour toujours. The day that I left, I was not allowed to meet my children. Only the youngest. Infant was allowed to be with me. I did not see the other children. On est que le plus jeune. Je n'ai pas pu voir les trois autres.
Question. Question. During the time of your stay at Anlongkong, did that unit require you to make your own biography? Est-ce que vous avez dû écrire votre fiche biographique? Response. Réponse. Yes, they made oui. biographies. Oui, on écrivait sa biographie. Once in a while, they would ask about my own biography, temps, uh, where I came from and where I went to, je venais, for instance. Etc. Question. Question. Were you ever photographed? Et est-ce qu'on a pris votre photo? Response. Yes. Réponse, oui. Once I arrived, I was photographed. Quand je suis arrivé, on a pris ma photo. Questions. The AV officer, can you protect the document with EAN number 00053796 on the main screen? The President, again, the AV officer, President, can you protect the document with the EN number in the Khmer language 00 05 3796 on the main screen? The President, uh, Madame Bouton, Bouton, can you look at the photo on the screen? Can you recognize this person? And whose photo is it? La personne photographiée. Response. Réponse. This is my photo. Oui, c'est moi. President, the accused, can you examine the biography of this witness? What can you tell us? Can you confirm that this, bio this biography was from either from S21 or S24? The accused, Mr. President, the testimony of Madame Bouton, as questions by the, you, the President, I completely agree. Je suis tout à fait d'accord avec les réponses données par Madame Bouton aux questions And the, this photo biography, I also fully 
agreed. At the same time, I would like to add that An Long Kong was a main office where where Hui stayed, and the biography of Madame Bhutan from the Energy Ministry, the person in charge there was Red. This is according to the statement of this person. Red was only an alias. And Red was the secretary of that energy from the beginning, so her testimony is appropriate. And Koi Thun was actually known by the subordinates, but his actual name was Koi Khun, not Koi Thun. And I tried to research the name of this witness, Horn, and yes, I found his name. This is my response, Mr. President. Et j'ai effectivement retrouvé ce nom. The president, every officer, can you remove the photo and project the normal courtroom view? Allô, le frère Chakram, ta main semnou avec the president, judges of the bench. Do you have any questions to be put to these survivors from S24? Judge Lavange, you take the floor. Oui, merci, Madame. Je suis le juge Lavergne. J'ai quelques questions à poser pour essayer de clarifier votre déposition. Vous avez expliqué que c'est au moment où vous avez dû être évacué de Phnom Penh et que vous repartiez dans votre euh, province d'origine, que l'on vous a demandé de retourner à Phnom Penh. Qui est-ce qui vous a demandé précisément de retourner à Phnom Penh Response. Nobody there to ask me to go back there except the Pol Pot's clique. Actually, the Pol Pot soldiers, they also went with us on that track. Two of them on stood on each side of the door, and I told them my native village was at Kondut, but then they said no, the car had to return back. Vous avez, madame, été entendue à la fois par les enquêteurs des co-juges d'instruction, mais aussi par des représentants de euh, l'organisation non gouvernementale d'ICICAM. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez d'avoir rencontré des représentants de DCCAM, le centre de documentation pour le Cambodge Response. Yes, I do. I gave an interview, but I don't remember the date exactly. They gave me some documents, and I just kept them. Vous avez également expliqué que vous étiez, vous faisiez partie de ce que l'on appelait le peuple du 17 avril, ou encore le peuple nouveau, ou encore les 75. Euh, concrètement, est-ce que cela signifie que c'était simplement dû au fait que vous habitiez à Phnom Penh quand Phnom Penh a été prise par les Khmer Rouges. Response. 
Yes, I uh, was in Phnom Penh because I moved to Phnom Penh in 1973. I never left Phnom Penh, although my uh, family would want me to go back home, but my husband said that he did not want to live with Pol Pot because there was not enough bread to eat with Pol Pot. Euh, non, mon mari a dit qu'il fallait que je reste parce qu'il n'y avait pas de pain à manger. Et je serais à Phnom, Phnom Penh jusqu'à le jour où Paul Pot jusqu'au moment où les euh, troupes de Pol Pot sont arrivées à Phnom Penh. Lorsque vous avez vous êtes retourné à Phnom Penh, when l'on vous a demandé de travailler pour euh, le bureau de l'énergie à la office. station service. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez si vous étiez particulièrement surveillé Do you recall whether Et est-ce you que vous vous souvenez en particulier de ce que vous avez dit à DCCAM en ce qui concerne euh, un nommé Chan qui avait interrogé vos enfants. Réponse. Oh, I remember. Oui. At that time, I came to live in Phnom Penh. At the first time, the singer asked my kid what kind of job my his their father was. Quelle était l'activité professionnelle de leur père? Ils ont utilisé le mot père, qui signifie père. Kid uh, told them Mila, that uh, they did not have a uh, pa or father, but have a uh, pa, le père, which also father po. in Khmer. But uh, then uh, they kept asking uh, them questions. So I think questions. it was only at the first time when we came to Phnom Penh when they were asked uh, such Pen, questions. Qu'on nous a posé and later de on, when we worked. When we lived at the energy office, then our children were segregated, and I was told that the children would be taken to be uh, to attend study sessions, but uh, they never studied anything. And uh, I met them later on, and uh, they could not come to live with me because they got used to living with other kids the same age as theirs. And I was helpless anyway. I could not stop them from going back to live with their peers. And finally, when I left, then I left alone and I did not have any opportunity to see them back pas eu l'occasion de les revoir. Vous avez également parlé, madame, de, euh, du décès de votre you propre père et euh, des difficultés que vous avez rencontrées à ce moment-là. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez aussi si, euh, à ce moment-là, vous avez été contrôlé, notamment si vous avez critiqué, osé critiquer Euh, la situation dans laquelle vous étiez. Réponse. I did not know whether he was killed uh, because I had si lived with my father for long, tué, so he left and, and returned to the hometown uh, in 1976. Then my husband uh, drove the truck to Comport uh, and then later on told 
Mais c'est que son père est mort. Et j'ai dit que son père était mort. Et puis, un jour, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une visite à Tahorn's house. Et ensuite, nous avons fait une Consoled that his my father died because his karma came to an end. I challenged that person who told that my father was killed because of his karma has reached an end. Parce que son karma est arrivé à son terme. And then they started to talk about other people's names like Rit and then I was familiar with those names and the person who told me about my father died did not want to be served the rice I cooked for him because he was afraid that it, he would be poisoned. And later on, uh, the messenger, Ron, came to me and called me. me uh, but I called him brother, the, the messenger, because he was the chief anyway. I told him that the rice was already prepared to be served. Why did not you uh, eat the rice? And I did not know why by saying that then the person warned me that he would kill me if uh, because I was talking about the people who was uh, being killed. And he said that uh, actually because uh, I had uh, served him for so long, that's why he spared my life, uh, because he was very critical to my outspoken uh, manner. And uh, because of that, uh, he did not take me to be killed. And I, at you know, that time, I talked to the man that why in our house there was only a warm water pot uh, uh, without other uh, utilities and that uh, later on I was uh, uh, wrong to say that because uh, tard, it was against uh, the revolution uh, to even say that and later cela, on I learned cela, that a lot of people would have been tard, killed because of uh, such ont été parce que act. Elles, um, avaient fait des choses And I now, when I looked at Tarut, Tarut who came to pay a visit to that location, he was escorted by soldiers, and I said, "Look, Tarut is more like a prisoner because every time he came, he was escorted by soldiers. So by saying so, I would have been killed already because I did not know that my word, my expression was wrong at that time." J'aurais pu être exécuté étant donné ce que je venais de dire, ce qui n'était pas bien perçu. Quand vous êtes arrivé à Anlangkorn, votre bébé avait quelques jours à peine. Ou est-ce qu'il était un peu plus grand Il avait quelques jours, quelques semaines. Response. Uh, he was about uh, one month or so. Il avait quatre semaines à peu près. Vous avez indiqué que dans ce lieu vous avez vu des centaines de prisonniers. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner une idée de l'importance de, de ce lieu euh, C'était des centaines, c'était en constant renouvellement ou c'était des centaines de personnes qui étaient là en permanence Toujours les mêmes Est-ce que c'était toujours les mêmes ou est-ce que ça changeait beaucoup I forget uh, 
the chief at Anlongko, now having heard from the accused about Hui, and then it reminds me of the person that I saw at that time. The person did not come to that location regularly. Of course, people do, uh, did come and go. Uh, and sometime I myself was uh, shifted uh, to work at Unit 14 or to other locations. At Prisar, it was just established after 1975, and they were, uh, it was used for re-education and refashion. I lived and worked at Anlong Kong, and sometimes I saw a truckload of Kong, people after their biographies were, were taken, they would be taken out. I could see incoming people, new people on a daily basis, but I did not ask them because uh, it would be a big jours, trouble. And I was lucky actually to be able to survive. Euh, une situation difficile et euh, j'ai eu la chance de pouvoir survivre. Vous avez également expliqué que la nuit, des gardes venaient avec des torches électriques pour prendre des euh, prisonniers. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si c'était des choses qui se produisaient tous les jours Every day, très régulièrement very ou exceptionnellement. Respondus. Réponse. At that time, à cette époque-là, they were uh, prisoners uh, were taken. At night, in the next morning, we would uh, note that a few people disappeared. And after our work, then we were given the meals, then we were called to work again. So they used us at every moment. Uh, they did not want us to have a good rest. Effectivement, ça se and uh, during the break time, we pause, would also be called to work. On nous appelait pour nous envoyer travailler. Est-ce que vous avez été battu? Est-ce que vous avez vu si des gens étaient battus ou euh, victimes de sévices ou de violence? being the victim of violence. Response. Response. No, I didn't, but I non. was beaten. Mais j'ai été Personally, battu. actually, because I saw Parce que some banana and I thought that I, I was saying that this banana would be good for our meal and only saying that uh, they beat uh, me and accusing me of uh, being the enemy and you can see the scar still is well seen on my face. Lors de votre audition par les enquêteurs qui est à la cote des 28-10 dossier, vous avez également dit que vous avez connu Duc pendant l'exode ensemble. C'est-à-dire que en 79, est-ce que vous avez eu l'occasion de rencontrer l'accusé, est-ce que vous le reconnaissez aujourd'hui Est-ce que vous l'avez vu dans la salle d'audience Est-ce que vous le reconnaissez Est-ce que vous l'avez vu pendant que vous êtes part, après être parti en 79 
Response. Response. I did not see him in Phnom Penh, although I saw him when we left An Long Kong. At that time, we were running for two days. Then we reached Om Leang location. And uh, we were running I was very faithful. I did not depart Moi, uh, from the group. I still loyal. Je ne, je ne pas went le groupe, with hein. them, and then je we approached uh, another et location near Am Leang, and then we took a refuge for about two nights, and then Dodge was seen walking, and then people told us that he was the chief uh, of uh, lui the prison, and then uh, everyone was asked Uh, mm. I was told uh, to steal a monde. good look at him and of course le I know mm. him, I recognize him, the guy who connais, just said reconnais. something uh, just now and, uh, qui, uh, but later qui, on I never uh, met him. Ensuite, I got tard, uh, pas my relative who asked me whether I knew Dodge ah, and I said that I knew him back in 1979 and he was a man with small build and that's why uh, and I even call, uh, know his wife uh, his wife was um, tall, rather well built était bien bâti, plutôt and grande. The, maybe he also knows that location because when the Vietnamese was chasing and fi uh, open fire behind us while we were running, and, nous and then nous I was nous I was running until moi, I reached Chiang. Out. And I still followed uh, the detainees and Et I was very stupid to follow them, I didn't know. Then after I learned that my children died or disappeared, then I made uh, a swift uh, decision euh, to go disparu, back to my hometown. Ensuite, and when I reached Swai Don Kao, I stayed there for a few months because uh, I did not want to come back home yet because I was ashamed to be alone because my husband and children died. When I saw uh, my people from the hometown, I would escape because I was so ashamed. And then I was convinced that uh, I should go home because uh, losing any relatives of uh, members of the family uh, was not a kind of different because everyone lost uh, such family member. And then I was convinced to go back to the hometown. Quelque chose dont on pouvait abandonner parce que c'était le cas pour tout le monde. J'avais peur de rentrer I had suffered chez moi. A great deal. J'ai énormément souffert. And I just don't want to remind or to recall the event when I watch uh, the movie and having heard Dodge who admit that he did not kill people, but I am not convinced because uh, a lot of people were killed both at S21 and Chiang Ak and my children and my husband uh, would be ending up in those mm. locations um, on trouvait la mort dans ces and lieux. I was advised uh, by my mm. uncle who Mon was the head monk uh, to try to uh, forget and um, forgive but I could not uh, and uh, I am now alone and uh, when I do farming Alone, I am telling myself, why should I work with the farming again? Because I have no one left to um, to work hard for, for example. Why do I need to do the farming? Because my husband and children already died. And then my mother also told me to try to relax a little bit but I 
try to be here at the court to find justice for my husband and my children. Every year I, will, I go to Bang Cheng to pray for the dead souls of my husband and children. And uh, children would be blindfolded. Les enfants étaient in 1979, I was taken to Bangkok, and then I could uh, see the hair of the corpse. And having seen that, I passed out because I recognized uh, the color of the hair of uh, the corpses. And then I was taken to the hospital, and I was so disappointed. I did not know why even young children like that were also killed and leaving only the person in the family who will have to suffer from those uh, sufferings. And uh, if I have not uh, resorted to study Dhamma, I would have been in a very uh, serious mental condition. Dans un état psychique so after all, grave. I knew for sure that my Et children died at Chiang Ek. And uh, I was also told that the photo of my husband is seen put on display at Tuol Slang. Slang. I have been in good memory of my husband Je and my kids. Conserve, um, des images, une mémoire, hein, I never la mémoire forget de mon mari, them. La mémoire de mes enfants. Je the photo pas. of my husband was scanned and copied uh, and sent to me, but I did not want to refresh the memory of the suffering. I tried to move on with uh, the suffering and try to forget it, however, it's difficult. My sister in the United States uh, helped to support me now, and she has uh, helped me with the money to build a house for me to live in, and she asked me to actually try to move on, although uh, she told me that everyone has suffered a great deal, but it is time to heal the wound. Vous avez parlé de Chang Ek. George Vous Laven. avez expliqué you être talked about allé Chung à Chang Ek en 1979. Lorsque vous avez été entendu, vous avez aussi when déclaré que vous aviez reconnu les bandeaux that you autour had des yeux des enfants. Et vous avez the dit, cloth used et je vous demanderai de confirmer si cela est exact, que ces bandeaux ressemblaient à des morceaux de tissu qu'on vous avait like vous demandé de découper. Est-ce que c'est exact Response. Réponse. No, I was not asked uh, non, to do that because I was presumed as enemies. Uh, they only used their people to uh, cut the pieces of cloth to blindfold the children. When I was uh, attending a study session only after 1979 and I was introduced to Chung Aik and then I was told that these dead bodies were the remains of uh, the relatives and loved ones of ours, no, no other people than the, the mass graves uh, were uh, exhumed uh, and Corpses uh, would be lifted uh, and, charnier, on a and I recall the blonde hair 
pouvoir vu ses And then because cheveux, uh, my kids also had the blonde enfants, hair and then I grabbed the hair des and I blondies. was shocked. Uh, j'ai remarqué cela et j'ai été en état de choc. À l'endroit où vous étiez, il y avait des Just cultures. Was there il y avait any du riz, il y avait where, des légumes. Est-ce que vous savez à qui étaient destinées les récoltes Est-ce que vous savez où elles étaient stockées Et est-ce que les gens sur place pouvaient en profiter ฉะนั้นเราทุกคนควรจะจับตังค์ไอ้ทุกคนไอ้ทุกคนไอ้ทุกคนไอ้ทุกคนไอ้ทุกคนไอ้ทุกคนไอ้ทุกคนไอ้